Breaking news. Youths in Ibadan community barred Sheyi Makinde and Akere Dolu from seeing Hausa leader in Shasha. Hello, my wonderful people. We are all aware of what is going on currently in uh, 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 or your state, okay, where Sheyi Makinde is the governor of the state. And youths in the state have come up to say, uh, Mr. Shea Makindeu, please, eh, yourself and the, uh, I mean, please, guys, we don't want you guys to come r r you know, near this um, uh, Hausa leaders and st start discussing what you're not supposed to discuss. As a matter of fact, we don't want you to come there. We don't want you. And they were very, they were very serious about it. They put down their foot and said, especially to Shea Makinde, we don't want you near this place at all. My people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time thank you so much let's get straight into the news and get all the details why the youths have taken these steps a uh, report by daily trust today narrated how hundreds of community youth in shasha in a uh, kinle day local government hindered governor olusheyi makin day and his colleague Governor Rotimi Akere Dolu from visiting the Shasha Hausa leader until they did what the youth asked them to do. <clears throat> My people, there has been report of ethnic violence in Shasha area of Ibadan, the capital of Oyo state recently. The ethnic crisis in Shasha reportedly involved the Hausa people and the Yorubas and the violence reportedly started from the famous Shasha market. Shasha market is one of the destinations of farm products from the north to Ibadan. Following the order by the Oyo state government that Shasha market should be indefinitely closed. Governor Olushe Yimakinde of Oyo state and his counterpart Oluro Akere Dolu, governor of Ondo state, visited the Shasha area to address the extent and to assess to address and to assess the extent of damage incurred during the clash between the Yorubas and Igbo, the Yorubas and Hausa traders, I beg your pardon. The governors, however, attempted to visit the Saraki Shasha, who did not go down, which did not go down well with the community youths. The youth did not grant the governors access to the Saraki Shasha Palace until they paid a condolence visit to a village head and not Shasha Saraki's Palace. Or your state commissioner of police, Ungozi, was present at the event. Her attempt to pacify the aggra aggravated youth did not prove successful. However, as the crowd reportedly shouted, we won't allow you until you visit the ballet palace first. Both governors gave in to the demands of the youth. Eventually, some people reportedly died in the ethnic clash between the Shasha in the Shasha market and property estimated what millions were also destroyed. The youth insist that the ballet should be the first point of contact. Why are the governors going to see the Hausa leaders instead of talking to the ass first? This was the, uh, you know, the, the, the way the youth insisted. And um, at the end of the day, you know, the, the, the leaders, the leaders budged and, you know, finally went to see the ballet. They came in and would rather not see the ballet, you know, of that very community who has now lost people in his community, who, I mean, I mean, I, 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 both people should be seen, you know, but the, especially the ballet, who is supposed to be the communal leader. As a matter of fact, these people are a host community to the houses, and they've lived in unity for a very long time. They've intermarried, they, they trade together, the, those from the north bring things, you know, foodstuffs and the rest from the north, and they've been living well at peace. But we saw that uh, throughout, towards the end of last week, what has been going on and why, you know, so many issues went on. Lives where people lost their life, property destroyed, a lot more happened. Uh, 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 Kere Dolu went to see uh, Sheyi Makinde, you know, as the governor of, uh, you know, uh, 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 those states. He went to see his counterpart in uh, your state with all that has been going on. To also, you know, go with him, 
Sheimak in day cannot just with, with the tension that is on ground now, it's good that it goes with other governors. And in the eyes of you know the Yoruba people as uh, today, uh Olu Olu is the person who is speaking their language for the singular action he took to ensure that headsmen, you know, that do not deserve to be there, especially those who are criminal elements, we are sent away from their community. So that singular action he took won him the respect of a lot of uh, you know a lot of these people and you know they were the ones who said okay governor luro to me can actually i mean you, you can it can actually it can actually come with you however they wanted them to visit the ballet first which i think in my opinion is the right thing to do you can't just walk into a people's vicinity without you know seeing their own leader and yet you want to go to another quarter i mean people will not really they won't find that funny you know, not everybody would take it lightly and say, no, no, no. Why will you be going to the ballet? Why won't you go to see the ballet, but you are going to see the uh, Hausa leader? You know, so, I mean, they will also go to see the Hausa leader so that they cannot come to a round table. Because whether you like it or not, these people, the Hausas have come to live in that area now for decades. Some of them have forgotten about home, to be very candid. Some of them have lost home. This is where they've come now to know as home. And listen, guys, the houses are different from the Fulanese. It's like saying, for instance, Edo and, a, a, and a, a, for instance, saying Edo and Igbo. It's two different languages. They don't have practically, like, it's, it's two distinct languages, two distinct sets of people with different, you know, uh, uh, what makes them a people, what makes them a community, what drives them, what are their ideologies, what are their tradition, what do they respect, what do they pay attention to. So the houses are quite different. And with the recent tension of where things are all over the country, you know, they are just grouped as one. That's not very correct. I don't know exactly, but we know that the problem started from the Chacha market. But what exactly caused this very problem, the, the, the ball has not been pegged on it to say this was exactly what led to the problem that has escalated so much so that houses property people we had people died what are you like people died you know so this is what is currently going on and why every hands needs to be on deck why everybody cannot be quiet everybody has to speak everybody has to make you know make an effort and make it be known because at the end of the day whatever it is you know, we are still one people. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.